Hello everybody and welcome back to Tip Tart. Today we are taking a look at eight great tips for Adobe Illustrator. Let's dive right in. Number one, creating a clipping mask from multiple shapes. To create a clipping mask from multiple shapes, you need to select all of the shapes you'd like the mask to be and turn them to a compound path by going to Object, Compound Path, Make. You can then select this compound path, which is now treated as a single object, as well as the object underneath. Right click and choose Make Clipping Mask. Number two, eye dropping text properties. If you use the eyedropper tool with some text selected and click over another portion of text inside Illustrator, it not only copies the color, but also the font, size, and all tracking and kerning. Number three, scaling strokes and corners. If you scale a shape with curved corners like so inside of Illustrator, it adjusts the corners according to the shape size. If you scale down or with curved corners, it would create a circle, for example. If you wanted to avoid that, then all you need to do is choose the scale corners effect to maintain those as you shrink or scale. And if you have a stroke applied to the shape, you can also select scale strokes and effects for the same results. Number four, using the join tool to close gaps on complex shapes. If you have a series of shapes that are close together, you can select the anchor points directly on each shape and right click and choose join. This will merge the two paths together whilst retaining the anchor points. You can also use the join tool, which can be found under the shaper tool menu. Number five, using maths in the transform area. If you need to scale or adjust an object with a greater deal of accuracy, you can use maths inside the transform window. For example, you can times the width by two, or divide the height by five, or any other mathematical equations that you can think of. Number six, asset export panel, alt options. When you select separate shapes inside of Illustrator and use the asset export window, it will export them as separate different assets. However, if you select all the shapes and hold Alt whilst releasing them over the asset export panel, it will create an asset using a single object from all the shapes you have selected. Number seven, recolor artwork to a new workspace. If you need to change the color of artwork to a new workspace, or perhaps you created a document in the wrong workspace, you can change the colors after they've already been made. For example, if I select this same shape here and go up to edit, edit colors, recolor artwork. Not only can you recolor to any color in the current workspace, but you can also limit your colors by other color books by clicking this small option down here and limiting to the color book or color palette of your choice. For example, Pantone Solid Uncoated. And it will change all selected artwork to the closest appropriate color within that book. Number eight, select same. If you have a complex piece of artwork and you need to select everything on the stage which has some similar attributes, you can do so quite easily. Select one of those shapes, go up to select, choose same, and then choose how you'd like to select. For example, by fill and stroke, fill color, or stroke weight. You can then adjust as needed. Thank you very much for watching everybody. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, let me know and I'll create more in this series. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.